Hi there, it's Elaine here and we're going to do another Marguerite Miller collage from the Collage Weekly Planner. I don't have the planner, I do have the prompts, I just bought the prompts on their own. So I'm all up to date to the 20, week 22. Actually, you can, as you can see, I've added a few bits and pieces to my cover because I thought it was looking a little bit mm, boring, maybe a bit bland. So these are my uh, masterboards that I did for with my, my uh, vintage tickets and my vintage pharmacy labels. I printed off a sheet from my masterboard and then I just cut out some circles with my new circle cutter that is two and a half inches which is an 80 coin size uh, i got the link from amazon from my friend nina on her channel because she was doing some 80 coins the other couple of weeks ago i thought why not do that and this is a steampunk i think it's possibly I don't know which one but it is a digital things that I've already printed off and cut out so I just thought I was looking for some bits for this particular one which we're going to do today which is number 23 I will get me to the page that was 22 I can take that off now it's just making me get to the page so I can find it now the problem is now is my book's getting really quite fat with the various bits so it's got a bit of a slope on it we'll see how we go so week 23 something that represents time uh, I'll bring them out as I say them I think so I have one of those something woody or wood grain which is the wood he's sitting on he's my little birdie and also the bonus is a photograph which is what he is because he, he's come out of a bird book but he is actually a photograph rather than a just a, a any picture so i've left him intact as if it's a photograph really that's my idea anyway an art scrap I've got a very tiny bit something red so yeah I've got something red that flower but I've also got one of them as well which is a bottle left on this bottle 1d which is one pence old money and a song lyrics or a song title now that I was finding quite difficult to do so I did pull off something off the internet these are Freddie Mercury's words to some of their Queen songs and I'll use I've, you, I've just torn a piece of it out because I don't want the whole thing open your eyes look up to the sky and see i can't sing like him that's very very clear <laughs> so what shall we do with these now then now obviously he's the biggest thing and i need him to be somewhere specific on the page and so let's put this together so I thought we'll put that under here somewhere. This is quite large as well, but I'm going to put it in this top corner. So that's making me put him sort of down in this corner so that I can fit this on. And I thought I would put the words underneath him. He can come up a bit, I think. Uh, something like that no maybe you can come over a little bit I'm gonna pop him under there somewhere because that's picking out a little bit of the red it's got a touch of blue on him but I think this one is a great tick because he's 
he's got a black head. A blue tit's got a blue head. Or he could be a cold tit. I'm not sure because of the stripe down the front. I'm not sure which one he is. But he's a, a tit, which is, we have quite a lot of different types here in the UK. Uh, so I don't quite know where I want to put that at the moment. I was going to put that over quite near the edge, but I'm not sure if I want the watch on it. Because what I was going to do is I was going to put this underneath because the butterfly didn't really show up on this bit here. I kind of just thought, shall I put him up here? But these two colours were a bit too the same. And... The reason I'd got the beetle out, it got a clock in the middle of it because it was a steampunk thing, which obviously steampunk stuff tends to have watches and clocks and cogs and all that sort of thing. So I don't know whether to put this on the tip a bit more. The words kind of go up like that. Do I want, I don't really want that underneath there, I don't think. Maybe we can bring it down this way a little bit. Tip it. It's an amaryllis, I think. I think that's what it was. Not quite sure about this bit. I don't know whether I want that on there, really. I want the, the watch to be over there because I don't particularly like that bit there. So, And he's obviously sitting on wood, so that's me bit of wood. The idea was that it helps highlight the little butterfly. So I'm sort of going to pop him like that, I think. Not sure if I like this bit here. Maybe I'll tear that bit off. You can't read it anyway. So. Let's see if that will... That will hopefully go underneath there and then with the flower on it i don't know i don't know you're not going where i want you to go are you that's i think it's gonna have to be a very well maybe we could put him on the top of there like that that's better isn't it when I glue it down, I'll put it on top. Look at that. That's nice. As I say, I don't know whether I really want that under there. It might be quite nice under there. Make it a bit more condensed. And then... I'll pop him back there like that. Looks a bit funny there, doesn't it? I don't know if I really need that. Well, I suppose it does stand out enough. Because originally I was going to have it over here. Like that. But I thought the reds were too close together. But then I suppose they're still together here really, aren't they? I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. Not very well by the sound of it. I have to say that sometimes prompts do start to, what's the word, overwhelm my creativity, if you see what I mean. I kind of like get a little bit kind of, uh, what's the word, I'm trying to think of the word, static, kind of, it stunts me somehow so i that's why i have to kind of go and do other things because the they're they're very specific i have to find certain things obviously to go that are pro, are the prompts which is fine but i don't always want to do that so it it can get a little bit overwhelming that's the word i'm after overwhelming I think I'm going to do it like that. 
out. I quite like the fact that it's got blue in there. He he's sort of got little tiny blue tinges with us well, not blue, they're more grey I suppose. But this is kind of purpley grey mixed with the blue and the red. Because this is some of my uh brushos uh, papers. So that's why it's an art scrap because it was just part of I think it was left over from when I was doing my steampunk tags. But I think that's where I want it. Get my glue. Where's my glue, glue, glue? Right now, this, this, and probably this, I can do with my art glitter glue. But this is printed, and this is printed. This is on card, though, where that's only on paper. I think, yeah. And this all need a glue stick. So... We need to glue that down first, but I'm not too worried about those two. I think what I'm going to do is glue the flower to the corner there and to that. And then they'll be in the right place. I think that's possibly the best bet. And they can all use my art glitter glue for that. So I just need very specifics. So I need to hold it down and move it. Well, that's really helpful, thank you. And that's now not in the right place. We think we need to go up a little tiny bit. This is the tricky bit. Stay there. Right, that one's on there. And I need to go, whoops, under there. Get under there. <laughs> that wasn't very clever, was it? That needs to go like that, hopefully. Hopefully that's in one place and straight, probably not. Right, so they're all joined together. So I now need to find the place that I want this to go which is, shall we move him up a bit, near the top, because we want that one there, and that one under there, somewhere, like that, yeah, and then we could either put the number here or up there, yeah, that's better, that's better. So I'm going to stick this part down here, so I've got that in the place that I want it, down this end. Make sure it's all straight as possible. And now I can pull that out, get the glue stick out. Ooh. Right, I don't need you again for a minute. So, how did we have this? I think I want it to be there. Oh, too high. Too high, too high. Like that. That's about right. Oops. Don't you come off. Don't you come off, you naughty boy. Right, so I'm going to stick all of the flour down now. Right, 
in this, obviously. I know this seems a bit cock handed, but I just I find it's just better for me. I enjoy having it where I want it before I stick it down. And you know, this is quite a biggish piece, so it doesn't not every last bit needs to be stuck down because it's it's just going over what's there yeah. I think that needs a little bit in that corner oh and down there there we are right yeah there. Sometimes when it's near the edges, I like to make sure it's stuck because um, it could get caught or whatever. Especially with with me putting clips and stuff on, on the book. I think that needs to go underneath there. So I'm glad I didn't quite stick that bit down. Right, I need that back to do my. my milk bottle top right, we don't want this about there somewhere I think I only need it tucking under a little bit just to get rid of that edge right, that's better that's this Part. I don't need that anymore. Right, I'm going to stick this bit down now. Over there. Because I can't move it now. <laughs> and I want this to go about here, I think. So, oh, this is a nice quick one. Right, too high, Elaine. Move that over a little bit. That didn't take long, did it? I did. I have. I have to say, sometimes I do set them up. The trouble is with setting them up is I just want to glue them down then. But I, I thought, well, it will also make filming quicker. So you don't have to... Oh, everything's falling down now. Stop it. Stay there. Where's my pin gone? So, yeah, that's that one done. Nice, quick... Quick one for you. I'll stick that on the back. So we've got something that represents time. Something woody or wood grain, an art scrap, something red, I've got two of them, song lyrics, and a photograph of the birdie. So yeah, 23 done, hooray. I think on my next one, 24 and possibly 25, I'm gonna do an index card. So I can get two on there obviously that half is with the one I did last week last time well, it probably was last week and I can't believe it's uh, it's July today 1st of July wow uh, what week are we at the moment I think it's 27 so either 26 or 27 this week. Because I always go that the whole week to the... It's Monday to Friday, obviously, and then they do have a Saturday and Sunday, I think, in the planner, but I know it's Monday to Friday generally. So this whole week from Monday to Friday is week 27. So I think last week's was 26. 
So I've still got a few to catch up. 24, 25 and 26 to do before I can do this week's. So I, as I say, I'm going to do them on uh, one of these. So it will be quicker because obviously I can do smaller bits and it'll probably, it'll feel quicker. Depends on what I'm going to do, but I don't know yet. There's uh, some interesting prompts for those. I haven't found all my bits for those yet. So yeah, there we go. 23. Oh, I need a number. Now, my number is orange, my sticker, so I think I'm going to have to print this one. Get the stamps out. And we'll just do it in, in black, so I've got no colours up here. I've got no colours. Oh. Right. We'll put it down here. There we go. It's a little bit light, but never mind. That loo for this time. I do have the sticker numbers, but some of them I don't have left because I've already used them. I did use some at Christmas, so I could do some more. Right, let's put Eric back. This is Eric, by the way. My daughter made him. He doesn't have his legs because I thought, well, they were a bit long. She 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 uh, was doing a model design degree, and uh, she uh, she didn't finish. She does have mental health problems, really. So Eric is now one of my paperweights. So he's got no legs. We took the legs out so I can just use him for holding stuff down like that. So his name's Eric. I named him. She didn't want him. She was going to throw him away. And I said, no, I want him. I want everything of hers because she's made it, really, because I'm a silly mum. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite happy with just doing the prompts for this one. Nothing really outrageous because I, I do actually like white space so it, it doesn't worry me leaving white space but uh, that's week 23 done nice quick one for you and I hope that you uh, keep well stay safe and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time Bye for now.